I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is wrestling. More importantly, Maxwell Jacob Friedman versus Brian Danielson. Review from AW Revolution, Iron Man match. Wow, 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 wow. That was a great match, bro. That was a great match. I ain't gonna lie. We only in March. Today's like March 10th, March 11th. That was probably the best AEW match this year so far. The best AEW match this year so far. You feel me? I don't know about WWE match too, but in AEW, that's the match of the year so far, bro. That match damn near had everything in it. It had everything. Great wrestling, great heat, great moves, great kickouts, great count, all of that. It had everything in it. Everything in that match, bro. Everything in that match. So, we all knew coming into this match, it was going to go 60 minutes, obviously. You feel me? So, they start the match off very slow doing just basic wrestling. Very basic wrestling. Which I feel like was a ploy. Which was a plan, I mean. I feel like MGF... MGF is really good because he gets a lot for nothing. Like, the crowd go crazy when he does nothing. You feel me? When, the M when MGF does great wrestling, bro, the crowd goes crazy. It's like, bro, he's a great wrestler, bro. Just because he doesn't do all that mat wrestling and all that stuff, and he don't do a 450 splash, people think MGF can't wrestle, bro. MGF is a great wrestler, gangster. You could just see it. You feel me? His promos is like A1, but he's very, very good in the ring. And Brian Danielson is probably top 10 all time, respectfully. So they started off very slow. Very, very slow. Now... It was something controversial in the match in the beginning. MGF went in the crowd. He took a fan cup. It was a mom's cup, right? A cup of liquor. It looked like water, but it was liquor. And threw it on the kid. You feel me? The kid started crying. Da da da. Got very controversial on Twitter. Da da da. AEW. AEW brought the kid backstage, introduced him to Powerhouse Hobbs. Everything died down. It was all good after that. But MGF was getting a lot of heat in this match. A lot of heat in this match. You feel me? Brian Danielson got the first fall. It was probably like what? Probably the 30 minute mark when they got the first pinfall. Brian Danielson got it with the running knee. Then MJF got the second fall with a low blow. I didn't like, that's my one nitpick about this match. So they didn't ring the bell. They didn't ring the bell and have the announcer say, MJF has now scored one fall. Brian Danielson has now scored. They didn't do that. They just kept it going, kept it going. I didn't like that, bro. They didn't let nothing breathe. You feel me? So, Brian Danson gets the first fall. MGF hits the low blow. Brian Danson goes up 2 0. MGF gets like two quick pinfalls off the low blow. Two quick pinfalls. Now it's top two up. Now it goes to three even. You feel me? We up three even. MGF is about to tap out. Time runs out. You feel me? Time runs out. 60 minutes. Great match. Crowd is booing. This is bullshit. Da 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 da. You expected that. Now, AW has Tony Khan, Tony Shavani, I should say. Run down, tell the ring announcer, hey, we're going to restart the match, sudden death. So they went another seven minutes. So they wrestled 67 minutes, bro. 67 minutes. That's crazy. With just two people out there, no outside interference, none of that. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Round of applause to them for that. That is hard to do. And the crowd was with it the whole time. And it was a long-ass card. This was the main event of like a four-hour show. Crowd still into it, white hot. That's crazy. That's something that you got to come in to two wrestlers for. So we get into sudden death, you feel me? Going back and forth, going back and forth. MJF pulls out the ring. Brian, I forgot the ref name, the stupid ref. He takes the ring away, you feel me? So now both of them is bleeding. We got a crimson mask. They are going at it, all of that. Brian Danielson. Taps out to the label lock. Literally, Brian Danielson taps out to his own finishing move. Literally, in the middle of the ring, tapped out, clean as a whistle. Not even passed out, tapped out, bro. That was crazy. He really put MGF over, you feel me? Now, I see some people liking it and some people hating it, you feel me? I have no problem with it. Brian Danielson is a made man forever. It doesn't matter who he lose to. What company he's in, he's already Brian Danielson forever. You feel me? MGF, this was his best match ever. This was MGF's best match ever. This was his longest match ever. You feel me? And this was the most dominant MGF has won. 
He didn't use the ring. He didn't need Wardlow. Didn't need outside interference. None of that. Beat Brian Danielson fair and square with his own move. That was a great match, bro. Great match. And it goes back to the story they was telling where MJF says he wants to be the best wrestler in the world. He just tapped out the best wrestler in the world, clean as a whistle, with his own finishing move. So this is what MJF's second title defense since winning the AEW title. He beat, Ricky, he beat Ricky Starks. That was a great match. Now he just beat Brian Danielson. That's great, bro. I don't know where they're going next, but MJF is already two for two in title reigns. Where they go next with Brian Danielson too? I have no idea. Because he doesn't deserve a rematch. You had 67 minutes to beat MJF and you didn't beat him. Why would you get a rematch? You feel me? So I don't know where Danielson goes from here, but MJF is on a great run so far. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back one more.